The Letter of Binan. Extract from Strange New Gospels by Edgar J. Goodspeed, 1931. Read by 31 Pearls. Prologue by 31 Pearls. Was Jesus an Essene? There are many writings that seem to indicate yes, but as of yet, not what could be argued as proof. It is also interesting to note that in the New Testament, Jesus rebukes the Pharisees and Sadducees, but not the Essenes. This reading of the letter of Benam adds to the mounting evidence that Jesus may have been a member of the Essene Brotherhood. In 1910, there appeared at Berlin a work called Der Benanbrief, the letter of Benan, the Egyptian physician. It was described as translated from a Coptic papyrus roll of the 5th century and said to have been itself a translation of a Greek original written in A.D. 83. The story is in brief as follows. Benan, a priest of Memphis, writes to his friend Strato, once secretary to Tiberius, whom he had met when the eruption of Vesuvius found him in the amphitheater at Pompeii, ere it drove him to escape to Capri in Pliny's galley. In conversation with Strato on that occasion, mention was made of the Christians. Benan told something of his early friendship with Jesus, and Strato told how Jesus' handkerchief, sent by Pilate's wife Procula, had cured Tiberius. Strato wished to hear more, but Benan had to sail for Egypt. For years later, in AD 83, Strato is settled at Rhodes and writes to Benan to remind him of his promise to tell his story more fully. Benan's letter is the result. Benan begins with the wise men and the star. Putifer, an astronomer at Anu Heliopolis in Egypt, is sent to the country of the Apriu by the high priest Renab crew and discovers the star, Siriu. At that very time, a child is born there. The child is taken back to Anu and brought up by Renab crew. Being at the same time trained in rabbinic lore, by Phineas, the high priest of the Jewish temple of Onias, nearby. When he is twelve, Putifer dies, and Jesus returns to Nazareth. He visits Jerusalem and amazes the scribes. But he soon returns to Leontopolis and Heliopolis, where he comes to know Benan, a youth who is studying to be a physician. Jesus also learns that art and astonishes people with his cures. When Jesus is 26, he is visited by Philo. He has already become acquainted with the Therapeuti, a group of Essenes who practiced healing. Phineas on his deathbed charges Jesus to go to his native land as teacher and healer, and he goes. For three years no news of him comes. Then Asartus, a girl who is in love with him, sends Benan to find him. With another physician named Sates, Benan goes and on the way learns of Jesus' death. Finding the crosses empty, the friends go to the tomb. And there witness the resurrection, of which they afterward inform the women who came to the tomb. They also carry the news of it to Bethany. Jesus appears again and utters his lament over Jerusalem. Then he shows himself in Bethany. And finally, Calling the disciples from Jerusalem, he commits to them the preaching of the gospel and takes his departure. Benan returns to Renab crew in Egypt with the news. The phoenix appears in the Temple of the Sun at Heliopolis in token of the resurrection and Asardis dies of grief. The second part of the letter tells of Benan's subsequent journey to Italy, where he is unable to help the dying Tiberius but he becomes the physician of Gaius and in that capacity visits Gaul and Britain. Later he meets the leading literary men of Rome and witnesses the burning of Rome in Nero's time and the persecution of the Christians that followed. Benan learns that their founder is his old friend Jehoshua or Jesus of Anu. Anxious to learn more of the sect, he visits Paul in his prison and in that connection meets Seneca and Luke. Benan is involved, in some way, in Piso's conspiracy against Nero, and he accordingly flees from Rome to Antioch. 
he visits Nazareth and Jerusalem, where he meets James and the Apostle John. After various adventures, in connection with the outbreak of the Jewish war, he takes refuge with Titus at Caesarea, becomes his physician, witnesses the fall of Jerusalem, follows his patron to Rome, and witnesses his triumph, intercedes successfully for the life of John, and is in the amphitheater at Pompeii, witnessing the display of Christian martyrs when the eruption of Vesuvius drives him and Strato to Capri, as already described. This text was read from Rejected Scriptures 